Hi, I'm Steve Halfpenny from Light Hands Equitation, and I want to talk a little bit about awareness. You now, while I'm, for instance, while I'm sitting here, like he can look around, check, but his ears are sort of on me, so I'm sort of aware that even though I'm talking to the camera, his, he's waiting in case he's been asked to do something. So when you pick up the reins, there's an awareness for me, is how, how far will I pick these up off his neck before he makes some sort of change in his body? And if that's a change that I like, then obviously that I'm going to try and reward that and encourage it. If it's a change that I don't like, then I'm going to try and discourage it, but it's an awareness thing. So I, I really would like, when I pick it up, that he sort of comes up a little bit and gets prepared to move in any direction. So he's sort of balanced, centered, almost like he's on a, on a pin and he could balance either way. So, see, I haven't even picked those up yet and he's already responding to something maybe happening. Let's stroke him. He's a good boy. Don't want him to move his feet. Pick that up. There, he's the change. So I've got a few inches off his neck and he started to change flexion. Then there's going to be a really desirable place that I'd like him. There, he's getting closer to it. I'm going to put that down. So without doing too much, his head came up, or his pole came up. He got to a place where that was at a good position. Then his nose started to come in. And it felt like he was just a little ahead of the vertical, which is where I want him to be. So I put it down. I'm also aware if I keep doing that, he's going to learn to just bring it up and take it off me. So this time I'm going to see if he can hold it. Didn't ask you to move your feet. So I put him back forwards. Didn't ask you to move your feet. Put him back forwards. So I picked up a feel and he thought maybe, as we've just done a fair bit of backing up, maybe backing up was what I wanted. And I'm just going to hold. I'd like him to get a little softer without moving his feet. So I might just vibrate my fingers a little. Just feels like he's just leaning on my hands a fraction. Come on, there, and put that down. Let him have a think about that. So as he gets into more collection, then I need him to hold that position more and more and more. So am I aware? Am I improving it? Am I treating him like he's a young horse forever? Which is really easy to do when you... Like me, you've started horses for a living. It's easy to just treat them all like they're going to be green forever instead of bringing your own horse onto a higher level. Now, pick him up again. Now, I didn't put any legs on him and I didn't take any legs off him, so I didn't expect him to go anywhere. Now I'd like him to move forwards. So if I get a little taller in the saddle, bring some more energy up, he's starting to leave. So that's good. So he's responding and sort of notice what he responds to. Just trying to keep that life in him. As I let less life in my body and almost feel like I'm walking slower with my own legs. Is he walking slower? Am I aware that he's getting slower? Yep, I'm going to wait. He's pretty soft now. He just thought he'd take that off me. So my hands were just there to let him know, no, that's not a good habit. You wait for me. And I'm going to ask him to wait longer this time. Because he still feels like he's just waiting for an opportunity to stretch out. That's better. I'm pretty sure when I give it back that he's probably going to reach out. There. Good. So somewhere between reins that's just sitting on the neck and you getting ready to move, the horse is going to make a change of some sort. The more you notice those things and reward them, the lighter your horses are going to get. The more you ignore that and do more than the horse needed, the more they're going to get dull. So I have to pay attention to those things. If I'm going to walk off, I'd like to go to the right. I'm going to change my balance before I even use the reins. So if I keep the reins in the middle and I go off and put some weight down on the right side, use, no, there, he's starting to bend to the right, but he's thinking about taking his head to the left. I'll have to make a little correction there. I'd like him to constantly stay on the arc that I put him on without me having to keep him there with my reins. So now I'm just noticing every time he takes his nose off the line that I think I've put it on and put it back there again until he learns to be in what I would say is self-carriage. Self-carriage could be vertical, but it can all be, also be lateral. So I'm sort of aware of every time he takes that away. So he's not committed himself to this circle. 
I'm going to keep coming around, keep fixing, keep fixing, releasing. It's not my job to hold him there all the time. It's my job to remind him that he shouldn't have taken that away from there. It's a little better. Well, and I release him this time. I'm going to get myself in the middle of the saddle and see if he straightens up and travels somewhere. Start to put weight on the left side. There, this side is obviously easier for him. Think of moving his left hind. Do I need the reins to get him to reach through those markers? No. So he's reaching. He needs a little bit of rein maybe if I want some more bend. There, it's coming around. Around to the left through the markers. Now, aware of the things around. Just come around there and I sort of notice we've got visitors coming. He's noticed we have visitors coming too. They'll come around and get ready to stop. Does he need me to touch the reins or can he just stop from my energy? Is he ready to, you know, it was a long time ago I used to be able to ride a horse with no reins, forwards and backwards and turn and do lead changes and everything. So right now I wonder if I can get him to think of following my posture backwards, you know. Because I've told myself he's not ready, he probably won't do this, and then you actually try. So always expect way more than you've already getting. And always start with way, way less than you believe it could possibly take to get a change in the horse. That's uh, what I think awareness is all about. When I'm around horses, watching what's available to me, and it became obvious a long time ago that people are not really aware of what's available to them in the horse they already own. And we all have that, if only we had a, a great horse, then we could have a good time with them. But every horse has the potential to do some amazing things. And I see my job as helping people understand how to unlock that potential in their horses.